Hello, Leo. So every year I pull a tarot card um, for the beginning of the year to see exactly what my year is looking like. Um, and I do this because I'm nosy and I want to know what the fuck going to be going on. You know what I'm saying? For the year ahead. So, y'all, I pulled y'all tarot card for the year. So, guess what came out? The motherfucking tower. Let me tell you something right now, Leo. Leo, you better run, bitch. You better run for the hills. You better run for the hills. And don't look back because the motherfucking tower is coming down. I tried to make a little bit of light of the situation, but... Bitch, I'm serious. You better hold your wig. Let me tell you something. You got me talking with my teeth. <laughs> Whenever my mom got serious, she would always talk with her teeth. Now, I'm actually super jelly, all right, that y'all got the tower card. Now, I did four other signs. I haven't done all 12 yet, but out of those other four signs, y'all got the best card for real. I remember when I pulled the tower as my card of the year. This was the year of 2012, I believe. And a lot of big things happened for me that year. A lot of positive changes. Um, and that's when the tower come when the tower comes out, it only means big, powerful, positive changes regarding like this spread. Now, if it was something else, I would be like, yeah, you better run and hold your wig. But that's not this type of situation. Like I'm actually getting a lot of positive energy. Now that year I actually got proposed to um, one of the many, but this was the only one that I counted. Um, and another thing happened to me as well regarding like spirituality. First and foremost, you guys are going to be releasing a lot of stagnant energy. Also being more spiritual, like tapping into your intuition more, um, really focusing on your spiritual growth on a personal level to improve your 3D. I'm also getting something with your lineage. Um, it really feels like you guys are going to be connecting to your ancestors more or really focusing on the past regarding your current situations. Your current situations are influenced by the past, so you guys could be releasing past situations. Like, if you've been in a very long relationship with someone, and there's a lot of history, but there's also a lot of toxicity, either you're going to be mending that bond, or you're going to be breaking away from that bond for good. I'm also getting family secrets being revealed. As far as, like, this lineage and connecting to your ancestors, it really feels like some of you are going to be coming into your Akashic Records. Now, another thing that I'm seeing is unexpected connections regarding love and career the reason why these connections are coming in like these unexpected connections are coming in is because you have mastered releasing expectations from certain situations in your life you're going to be exceeding your expectations because you don't have any so basically you're going to be releasing stagnant energy by releasing the expectations that you have on other people and really going with the flow of things and i love that for y'all because leo let's be real you are a fellow sister sign of mine, all right? And one thing that we hate is when shit don't be happening fast for us. You know what I'm saying? Like, we want, we want what we want when we want it. So you're going to be mastering and grounding yourself more this year, which is why things are going to be shaken up for y'all, because you guys are going to be in such patient energy. I just heard the birth of a child, so some of you are going to be having a child as well. Child, this whole time I did not even know that my microphone was not on. I do apologize for like the sound and stuff like that. But anyway, I want to direct my energy to a different group of you guys because I was getting a, sec a second group of you guys that would not be, you know what I'm saying, handling this tower energy um, in the most positive ways. So because of what I do, I research the hell out of multiple different tarot decks all of the tarot decks mean certain different things even though it's the same energy that you're dealing with you know each tarot deck has its own meaning and its own energy with it so i like to study the meaning of all different tarot decks now i was using the traditional tarot deck for this segment but when this card came out i literally saw it in a different deck and i don't even have this deck yet the card that kept on popping through so much so that i thought it was gonna be y'all guys all over energy for 2023 was the emperor card and i really want to talk about the emperor card so this specific emperor card um is a black man i'll put it on the screen it's a black man and i was just feeling so much masculine energy so you could be like a man of like you know a darker skin tone or you don't even have to be you could just be a man or just a female 
in your masculine energy but i really feel like this was directed to a man so the energy that i'm getting is the tower might be the emperor for some of you um and what i mean by that some of you are going to be starting a business like a new business that's going to bloom and blossom um some of you are going to have a hard time with dealing with authority figures or having to deal with an authority figure is the tower and i don't know why i was getting so much like legal energy from that it was making me feel like oh i have to do this because this person told me or i'm obligated to do this so that kind of feels like um yeah i don't know why that feels so like law to me like 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 law energy so i don't know if like this is like a court case or like a child support case or like maybe like something with divorce um where you're going to be obligated to do something that you don't want to do or like i guess like it's like that energy you know what i'm saying but i do feel like most of you will be in the energy of like, you know, the positive aspects of the tower. Because I don't feel like it's all the way back. Now, for some of you, if the if the tower comes in negative forms for you, like back to back, I'm getting that it's actually a positive. Like, let's say you're, you're going to be going through a tower that's very life-changing for you, um, that you weren't expecting to happen. It's like, it's saving you. Um, So if you find yourself in a situation where you know it's not the most positive or it breaks what you what you value um it's supposed to happen it's like god's rejection is is i mean i got man's man's rejection is god's protection is the energy that i'm getting because for some of you you had to like kind of slow down um i'm also getting this energy of like oh i know everything is is like okay if I'm in control of it. You're going to have to break that as well because you don't know everything and your way is not always the way. You know what I'm saying? Now, before I get off of the whole masculine energy that I'm tapped into, another thing that you guys are going to be having a problem with or finding yourselves having a problem with as a man, um, for those of you that do have children, is being the father that you want to be in your child's life. Um, and I do feel like this is because of a female from your perspective. Because I'm getting a lot of ruminating. Like, this tower feels like it goes really deep. It also feels like it was prolonged. Um, now, for some of you, you have been trying to control the tower. It kind of feels like trying to control chaos or trying to control a certain narrative that you have on someone or that many people have on you um yeah i don't know if the, okay if this is like a child support case and you're a man i don't feel like things are gonna go in your favor and that's where like that ruminating energy is coming from because i can't get over like this law energy or like the justice card feels like it should have came out as well like you know what i'm saying um i feel like you're gonna be ruminating and faulting another person um as like an excuse of why you you can't be the type of father that you want to be but what i'm also hearing is you had ample opportunity to be that father um maybe you don't want this person anymore you know what i'm saying maybe you are really going through like a separation with someone or you separated from someone you don't want them but they backstabbed you in some type of way or they're making your life harder. I'm getting that energy as well. Like somebody is making your life harder or you feel that way. Um, but again, it's like this was supposed to happen because of the certain decisions that you made. So let's get back into my feminine Leos, okay? Because that was a lot. Okay, y'all. I know y'all so freaking confused. Like, why the hell did fuck them just come up on the screen? So I literally have already did this video, but I lost, like, the messages that I had said. So I was like, all right, maybe Spirit wants me to, like, really keen on to something different. Maybe Spirit really wants me to give some, some more messages. So, like, as I'm doing this, I was pulling additional cards to see, like, 
the type of situations that you guys were going to find yourself in. Because whenever the tower card comes in, bitch, I want to know what's going to go on. And I do feel like that was a psychic slip that fuck them came on there. So for some of you, you are cross-watching <laughs> for a Leo man. Um, and that's kind of how he feels about you. But I'm kind of getting that y'all might be dealing with like somebody that has the same things in your chart. So like you might have Leo in your big three and this person has Leo in their big three. Um, I do feel like this, this person is very defensive. Like, they're very defensive and mad. If you are dealing with a masculine fire sign, Leo man. Um, but yeah, let's get back to the women. So, for, for as for my Leo women, I feel like, I'm gonna be honest, like, victory in, in someone else's demise. I'm gonna be real with you. And, like, I hate to, like, say that, but I'm just gonna be real. This kind of feels like revenge energy. So, if you are a female dealing with a Leo, or if you are a female Leo, I feel like you're gonna be getting revenge on, like, a motherfucker. Like, I'm gonna just be real with you. Um, but it feels like it's justified. It feels like you're supposed to. And it feels, like, clean. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't feel vindictive. Now, something that had came up twice literally it came out in your last reading that i did um when i did this video and then now it came out again when i redid it when i pulled on the feminine energy by the way you're the only son that i'm doing this for um was the energy of spell work and that feels kind of legal as well so if you are finding yourself in a legal situation and you have done spiritual work on it i do feel like it worked especially if you have like a leo moon or you did it around like a certain moon cycle i do feel like successful spiritual work coming in i'm also getting that some of you are going to find yourselves in careers where you're manifesting for other people this could just be like um on the on like a lower spectrum of like praying for somebody to get better or praying for somebody you know what i'm saying to to do this, this, and that. But I'm also getting, it's on a high spectrum for some of you guys as well, where like you really busting out like some real spiritual work and really spiritually working, you know, for the collective or for your clients. Now, another thing that I saw that wasn't the most positive was a money decrease. Um, now, this is interesting because you got the card of your business taken off, but money decreased. So, I'm getting that you might be finding yourself this year in a cycle where you're going to choose to literally work from the bottom up, like getting it out the mud, like focusing on income that you can sustain on your own, that you can control, and leaving, you know, a middleman or a nine to five, someone that is that basically leaving something where you're working for somebody else's dream to work on your own dream. And there might be a money decrease because of that. Um, but for those of you that have already started your business, I'm kind of getting, I don't know why I feel like that emperor card energy again. It's like your field could be very male dominated or you feel as though men go against you in your career sector or your career look my throat chakra is messing up you could have like some air in your chart as well you feel like men dominate in your career sector and i do feel like that's gonna affect your money there are some men that are not gonna want to see you in certain spaces because of the allegiance that they have with other men that think like them so i do see like you know the lack of support from men um from certain communities that think misogynistically <laughs> if that's even a fucking word bitch um but your business is going to be taken off so i'm seeing like brand deals for those of you that are entertainers i'm seeing like deals coming through but not those partnerships and alliances yet i feel like there's more character development that needs to happen that other people need to see from you for them to accept you. I know that sucks, but like that's just the life that we live in. You know what I'm saying? Now, I do not know why, but my guides keep on yelling to me to bring this up. And I really didn't want to say it because, you know, I don't want y'all reading to be super negative. But I feel like clarity cannot be positive or negative. 
um clarity is always oh wait wait did i say positive or negative <laughs> bitch i'm tripping but clarity cannot be negative because clarity is clarity um clarity is always good if it's the motherfucking facts you feel me so when i say this just don't take it the wrong way um i'm really coming from a genuine place and i don't like be trying to make readings super you know what i'm saying negative but be very careful, Leos. And again, I do feel like this is more towards like that masculine energy. But because this energy is interchangeable, it's, it's you know what I'm saying? It's not, it's not fixed. It's linear. So, I mean, it's not, it's not linear. It's, it's fluid. <laughs> but I'm really tripping, tripping. But anyway, like I was saying, be very careful because I'm feeling like this energy of mental breakdown because you're going to be in your head so much. Like, you're going to be, I don't know if you're in an environment where it's very, like, secluded that, you know, you're very, like, lonely right now. So, that you're going to be in your head or overthinking or it's a situation that's making you get into your head that's going to make you overthink and, like, cause a mental breakdown. I'm, I'm feeling like mental breakdown energy for real, for real. Um, or if it's, like, your circumstances are so constraining that you, you can't do anything but to think about them. Um... Be careful of that or, or like the blockages that you're finding yourself, you know, come across in your career field that feel super unfair because you feel like people are being unfair to you. Um, they're not respecting your truth. They're not respecting you or just who you are because of certain biases that they have against you. I'm getting that energy of like being very stoic in front of those people being very like oh i don't care or like i'm good but then like in the background when you when you get to like sit by yourself at night or when you have that alone time literally breaking the hell down over something or because you have to deal with a certain situation and i'm getting like the beginning stages of of like hate and resentment towards a person or a situation or like a system so be very 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 careful with how deep you go into your mind you know what i'm saying now i do want to pull out some manifestation cards like the manifestations that are coming towards you because y'all know that i always be working on new decks and since y'all reading is already long as hell and i wasn't even planning on doing these readings this long i'm gonna just pull out a couple because i do feel like y'all need some positive energy you know what i'm saying like some pick me up after this freaking video but it wasn't all bad. It really, really wasn't. So let's get into the manifestations that are coming towards you. All right, Leo. So I pulled out four cards from my new deck. And obviously, I'm not going to show it yet because it's not, you know what I'm saying, out yet. So I pulled four cards out. So let's get into them. So the first card that you got was number 47, which is good sex. Let's get into it, bitch. So if you are a feminine energy, I feel like somebody about to brook that back all right um if you are a masculine energy i don't know why i'm getting so much fellatio energy with that um as well as like good cooch so you know what i'm saying you got that coming towards you so the next one is oh bitch y'all better be motherfucking careful it says pregnancy slash having a family so wrap that shit up and no this is not talking about like if you already got kids and you know what i'm saying you and your stella got your groove back type of shit no chick you gonna get pregnant again like this is a new baby coming towards you so be careful and make sure you wrap that shit up if you don't want that because you know <laughs> bitch, some people do but i'm talking to the energies that could like do without it for right now you know what i'm saying whatever Okay, so the next one that you have is, ooh, a new car. So some of you that are manifesting a new car are really working towards a new car. You will get that new car. And then the last one that you have coming towards you is number 40, which is, what's number 40? Ooh, better work relationships. So we were just talking about, you know, your work relationships currently, where they're, where they're going to be at for like the first six months, all right? Um, so I do see you having better work relationships 
or mending those bonds that you do have with people because maybe people's perspective is going to change or maybe people's ideologies are going to change or maybe the spiritual work that you're going to get is going to help you in your career field. You know what I'm saying? Um, To remove those blockages because I was getting like seven of wands with it. Like it felt like in regards to your career or or like whatever you do for work, there was like a seven of wands energy, especially if you have your own business or you're like in the entertainment field in some type of way. I do see those relationships being mended or you make a new one. So, Leo, I hope that you guys enjoyed your reading, you know what I'm saying, for 2023. And I will see y'all in the next video. Do not forget to pick up my new deck, which is going to be in the link in the description box. If you need a personal reading, that is in the description box as well. Everything you need is in the description box, I write. Or if you have any questions, you could just email me. So, yeah, I will see y'all later. Don't forget to like the video. All that other good shit. And yeah.